Hello friends, we are still not employed by a fine company, so let's not stop lead coding till we get there. Today we are going to do design, add and search words data structure lead code problem. And if we see some of the companies where I want to get a job who have already asked this question, there are companies like Amazon, Google, Microsoft, Apple, Facebook, ByteDance, Twitter, Uber and Lyft. So that's why I'm paying my utmost attention. I hope you also enjoy the video. So this is a lead code medium problem and as the name suggests that we are actually designing a data structure where for this data structure we have to support that we can add new words to this data structure and if given any string we, we can actually find the previously added words uh, or strings as well. So we are being asked to implement the word dictionary class. Now in the word dictionary class, first of all, we'll need to initialize the word dictionary object and then we need to create two different methods. First method is add word method that, that takes in a string word as an input which being done. It adds the word to our data structure um, that we can use to match it later. And then there is a boolean method uh, called search where again we provide a string word as an input and that returns true or false if that word has been previously added or not. Uh, we are also given one, one more condition that for the search method there could be dots provided as inputs where we can conclude dot to be any letter. So if we are given the word something like bad that is already uh, already being added and then we are asked to search for the word using b dot d uh, actually these two words we can consider same because this dot we can consider it to be a. So let's try to understand this with an example. Uh, over here we are given a bunch of different add word, add word and search word mechanisms and uh, this is the explanation provided. So basically first of all we initialize the object word dictionary. Now for that uh, first we add the word bad, dad, mad. Uh, we all uh, we add all three these three words. Now first of all we search using pad. So pad is not present so we return false. Then bad is present because we have previously added it. Uh, then we are also given a word which is dot ad so this dot can actually mean anything uh, and if we see we already have a word like bad and dad that both and even mad that all three of them they actually match with the string so we can return true in this case as well and we are also given one more search criteria where we are only given b dot dot which means for these two dots we can conclude any other word and since we already have a word bad added uh, we can conclude these two to be similar and we need to return true in this case so before we start the solution first let's understand that what a try is uh, well uh, if you want to check the full explanation you can check out my previous video over here uh, now let's move back over here so basically a try is actually a form of a tree where as any given tree uh, uh, it has a root node now this root node can have many subsequent children and each children can have some children of their own uh, and based on that we actually use try to it search store and iterate over different strings uh, and for any given strings, we actually use it uh, character by character to store distinct values inside this given try. And based on the based on per character, we actually store it in a manner where it becomes pretty uh, fast for us to find that whether any particular parent node contains some character as one of its children or not. And then we iterate in some particular fashion uh, in DFS fashion to find uh, any words. So suppose these four are the strings we are trying to add. So let's uh, initialize our try data structure. So first of all, we are actually going to have a root variable. Now for this root variable, we are going to store all of these values one by one. So first let's store the value hello. As mentioned that for any given string, we are actually going to go character by character. Uh, so first of all, we are going to take the character h and we are going to see that does this root node has a child that is actually starts with h. It does not. So we are actually going to create a new node over here and this node starts with h. Now we are going to add all the values of uh, subsequent characters because they don't exist. So I am going to add uh, append e uh, l l o and after adding all of these values actually we are going to have a, an end variable that denotes that this word has actually ended over here. So, so far if we iterate in this direction in this given try we can actually form the word hello and when we reach to this o we can actually we will actually encounter a special node that denotes that this is actually the end node and if the whenever we identify that we can conclude the word has actually ended now uh, let's add this word hi so if we want to add word hi basically first of all we will check that whether this h exists or not so h already exists as one of the children of this root 
so we do not need to create a separate branch for this one but the thing is for this particular h i does not exist as one of its children so we are actually going to create a new branch over here i and we are going to denote that this is this represents this word h and then because this word ends over here we are actually going to denote an end node over here uh, let's add one more word uh, that is pop so if we want to add pop again p does not exist so we are going to add or we are going to create a new branch and we are going to add all of these values and we are going to add the end node now this next word is pond so again we are going to use the same methodology so p and o exist as the children so first two characters we are done with now from here we will have to create a new branch so we will do that and after that we will add our end branch and this is the logic we are going to use to implement our uh, insert or add method to add different strings inside our word implement data structure and this is the logic we are going to use that first of all we are going to check that any character exists as the children of the root or not if it exists we are going to leverage that particular branch if it does not exist we are going to create a new branch and then we will keep on making separations and based on that uh, things becomes pretty easy for us to find different words Okay, so for our search method, suppose this is the try that we have actually created and these are the words we have added. Uh, let me quickly go over them. So first word is pen. If you look at this direction, we have the word pen, then we have the pot. So P is common. So then there is a branch out and we get the word pot as well. Same we have cat, cars and bed in the similar sequence. And uh, these are the words we are trying to search. So couple of words are just regular words. Uh, then I have added some examples with the dots in it. So because they are more complicated ones, so we can understand that. So let's start, let's quickly start to go over and uh, see that what would be our search policy for this given uh, try that we have created. So for uh, for this character pot, first, char first letter is P. So from this root, we are going to see that does there a children that contains the character P? And yes, we have a child that contains the character P. So based on that, uh, we will keep in, keep on iterating in that direction. So next word character is O. So we have O as well. And the next character is T. So we have T as well. Now we don't care about this end node because as long as uh, we are able to generate the word that we were given, we are good up until this point. So over here, we will actually return true to be the answer that yes, this word is present inside the try that we have created. Uh, second word is pots. So again for the pots we uh, up until this pot we are going to go in the same direction but this s is not present as one of the children of this pot uh, and because we encounter an end node over here so we can uh, drop out immediately and we can return false in this case that yeah we don't have any uh, character that matches the word pots now uh, this is a little bit interesting example so for this dot ar the policy we are going to use is that whenever we encounter a dot to be a character we will actually have to iterate over every single possible root using this dot to be the character and see that can we make this ar to be part of that sequence or not so let's uh, quickly do that and let me clean this up a bit for this dot ar the strategy we are going to use is for this particular dot we are going to consider it uh, that every single child of this root can be used over here and then we will try to see that whether uh, is there any place where second character is actually a so first we go down this path okay so p we consider p as dot right then we check that okay this is e and this is not a so we cannot go on this path okay now we backtrack now we keep this p to be dot now again we try to repeat the same process this is a and this is o so again this is not the path we are going to choose this that is going to lead us to this answer uh, we come back now okay we are at this position again we check this a uh, child so this child is actually c we consider c to be the dot okay now from the c the next character is actually a and all over here the next character is also a so that is good good sign for us so now we can continue in that direction so now from this a we will try to see that is there a child that is actually r and yes from this a we also have a child that is r and since we reach to the end of this word we can return true in this case that yes this dot a r is present inside this try that we created okay so yeah that's a wonderful news uh, now let's focus on the next example so next example is dot dot t so for the dot dot t actually we are we will have to branch out even more so for the second dot dot t what we are going to do is again we are going to repeat the same strategy we will have to go over every single child that is possible so first we will consider this p to be the first dot uh, so this dot is this p okay now from this p we will also consider uh, two child to be separate dots so for both the childs, uh, okay, this is going to be the first dot. Uh, so we are good up until this point, but this value is actually not T, this is N. So we will have to backtrack. 
from this e we do not have any child so we will again backtrack and we will come back to this p to be one dot now from this p we still have one more root that we haven't considered so we will consider this o to be the second dot and from this o we actually have the last character t present and uh, that matches the string dot dot t so if we go down this path uh, we will be able to generate this word and uh, that's why we will also return true in this case as well and the same thing we are going to repeat for this dot ey uh, strategy so for this dot ey uh, what we are going to do is first of all we are going to consider this to be the dot we will see okay this is e so that is good but we this is not y so again we cannot go down this path uh, again this is dot this is not the path this is not the path this is not the path so this dot ey is actually not present inside this entire tri block that we have created so over here we will return false but before returning false we will actually ch check every single possible route to see that whether we can find a match or not okay so that is how we are actually going to implement the search mechanism uh, basically the only tricky part is to take care of the dot values apart from that it's pretty simple now let's talk about time and space complexity so for the add function the time complexity is actually going to be big o of n that depending on the number of characters that are presented inside the input and also for the space complexity it's also going to be big o of n uh, depending on the uh, size of the input for the search mechanism things become a little bit tricky uh, over here the time complexity is actually going to be big o of 26 times n why 26 times n because remember for any given dot there can be 26 child of any particular root element that we might have to iterate over and again oh, in the bottom we might have to keep on repeating the same process right so basically the maximum time and space complexity we might have to go over is going to be uh, n times 26 but since 26 is a finite number we can also consider this to be big o of n only okay and for the space complexity it's also going to be the same it's going to be big o of 26 to the power of n so for this problem we are being asked to implement three things word dictionary add word and search method the thing is before that we will actually have to define a try node so i'm going to create a separate class for to defining a try node where uh, every single tri node has a different set of children and uh, we can easily quickly look up those children because uh, we are actually using hash map to define them okay now from our main method first of all we are going to create a new tri node so now to implement our word dictionary first of all we are actually going to create an instance of this try now for this add word method first of all we will have to create a node uh, so we are going to create a tri node uh, we are going to run a for loop across the given word if the current node if that does not contain any children with this character then we will have to create a new entry uh, inside our node and if the entry exists for this given uh, character uh, we are actually going to go to the next element and in the end we are going to define node dot word to be true so before we start our search method we are actually going to create a helper method called search in node uh, that is going to take uh, the input word and the try node as the input and that is going to help us to iterate over the given try node uh, so first of all we are going to create a for loop to iterate over this given word and inside this given word we are going to iterate over character by character so i'm also going to create a new character variable so first of all we are going to check that if the given node or does its children contains this word or not if it does not contain then we are going to check that whether the given character is dot or not and if that is the dot then we might have to iterate over all the subsequent characters of this node once we determine that the children does not contain this character ch we are going to check that whether the ch is actually a dot or not if that is dot then we are going to run a for loop across all the children for every single uh, character value and then we are going to define a new try node called child and basically we are going to call this search in node method iteratively for the next character in that particular word because remember we are already eliminating the dot character and uh, providing its child as the try node and we will keep on repeating this the uh, we will keep on iterating this process and we are going to return true if that is not the case and if this given ch character is not a dot then uh, in that case we can return false immediately uh, somehow uh, this ch is actually a child of this node if that is the case then uh, we simply need to iterate over the next value inside this given node
and in the end we simply need to return that whether the node dot word is present or not and remember we are storing this node dot word value inside our uh, this add word method as well so the moment we identify a matching word it would return true otherwise it would return false now from this our search method all we will have to do is we simply need to call the uh, recursive search in node method that we have created and as the input we are going to provide the value of the word and we are also going to initialize a new try node or we are also going to provide the try node that we initialized earlier and that's it uh, let's try to run this code okay seems like our solution is working as expected let's submit this code okay seems like our solution worked as expected um it was not the fastest solution in terms of time complexity but in terms of space complexity it was pretty efficient i would be posting this in the comments so you can check it out from there thank you